Hey, what's up? It's Omid. And today we talk about your enemy within, your inner critic. I will share with you some very, very powerful tools with which you can transform your core negative beliefs in a way that you achieve a new sense of safety and hope so that you can rock your creative life being more at ease. So let us do an experiment right now to find out what your uh, personal negative core beliefs are. It is very important for you to figure that out because those personal negative core beliefs hold the key to your freedom. So take a pen and a paper and write down right now, I then your name, so in my case it would be I, Omid, am a brilliant filmmaker and you just exchange filmmaker for whatever you are doing in your life. So I, name, am a brilliant and then whatever you do in your life. So write down 10, 20 times and something very magical will happen. Uh, as soon as you start writing that down, Maybe after the first time already, or after the second, third, fourth, uh, fifth time, uh, this inner critic will come in and it will be, it will speak up and it will be, um, will become louder and louder. And when I wrote that down, I, Omid, am a brilliant filmmaker, what was coming up for me was that uh, things like, no, you're not, like, who are you to call yourself a brilliant filmmaker? Um, you're not good enough. People do not appreciate your work and these kind of things. So whatever that little voice inside of your head is attacking you with while you're writing down that sentence, uh, just collect it all. These are your personal core negative beliefs. Uh, write them all down and now it's time for us to really go into it and discover where these negative beliefs are coming from. So the next part of our little experiment is uh, the time travel. So just make a little grid and break your life into five year increments. Um, so basically from being zero years old to five years old and then five to 10, 10 to 15, 15 to 20 and so on. And in every single one of these um, uh, life phases, write down your major influences uh, and concentrate on the negative ones. So for example, talking about my own life and my own experience, I remember when I was in school, I was, I believe, seven or eight years old and uh, there was a moment where I didn't do my homework. My teacher, I believe she knew that I didn't do them. And she asked me to come uh, to the front of the class and present the solution to the uh, exercises, to the, to the homeworks that we had to do. Yeah, I was, just, I was just afraid to admit that I didn't do it. So I went to the front uh, and I had no idea what to do. And the way that she was treating me in that moment, uh, I just remember how I felt and I felt really um, like she's blaming me in front of the whole class. It, it just hurt, you know? All of these st stories and all these people, they all count. So write that all down and that will help you to uh, explore where that inner critic and those uh, personal core negative beliefs are coming from. 
So for example, a person in your childhood told you that you are not good enough and you changed it in a way unconsciously that now your inner critic is telling yourself, I am not good enough, I am not good enough, I am not good enough. So the next step in our experiment is that you take your negative core beliefs and change them to positive affirmations. So for example, if your negative belief is uh, I am not good enough and my creativity sucks, then your positive affirmation could be uh, I am good enough and I allow myself to express my creativity. Just take every single one of them and make a positive affirmation uh, instead of it. And then you take the positive affirmations and you write them down for at least 10 to 20 times, like fill a couple of pages with them. And if you keep doing this for several days, weeks or even months, you will be surprised how pleasant it can feel in your body at a certain point. And it might be possible that in the beginning it's very weird to tell yourself such things, but there will come a moment um, where you where you where you're in touch with such a beauty inside of your own body and it's just strengthening your relationship with yourself. It just feels so nice. It's just like, it's easier for me to be creative than to be not creative. Uh, and the more I hear my creativity, I realize that you will be surprised how much this can do uh, with your life. You know, we are constantly bombarded with negative beliefs and we don't do anything about it, most of us. And, uh, you know, just changing 10% of those negative beliefs to positive affirmations will change, will make a big change in your life. If you are, for example, about to talk in front of a big audience or if you're about to make a presentation, and you are being confronted in that moment right before with a feeling of unsafety or with your inner critic and with a little voice inside of your head. And in that moment, you might not have the, the time and space to sit down and work on your negative beliefs and transform them into positive affirmations. So in that moment, uh, inner resources can help you a lot. Inner resources basically means that you remember an experience in which you felt very safe. You might have felt very alive in that moment or loved or just very full. So you remember that experience in your body and you reconnect with that feeling that went along with that experience. So whenever you feel insecure or unsafe, or your inner critic is very loud and overwhelming, just sit down for a couple of minutes, close your eyes, and remember one of those beautiful moments in your life where you felt pleasant sensations in your body. Maybe you were walking down a beach, maybe you were just hanging around with a really good friend, uh, maybe it was like an interaction with your parents or with your family. So whatever it is, just remember it in that moment and reconnect with that feeling and really go into it, really allow it, receive that feeling in your body. And you will be surprised how much that can help you to overcome your insecurity and feeling of unsafety in that moment. So that's it. Once again, I would really like to encourage you to just try these tools in your life and see what happens. And hopefully there can be a support in your creative discovery and recovery. So thank you for your time. Thank you for watching and discovering this topic with me. And talk to you next time.